Now I've taken up the challenge and meticulously ranked 37 of the hottest tools out there, sifting through the best to the rest, all to serve up a definitive S to detail list. So strap in, we're diving straight into the productivity battlefield. Google Calendar, my personal time management champion. Versatility is its middle name, syncing effortlessly from phone to Apple Watch, all the way to my MacBook. It's a workhouse for scheduling everything seamlessly, integrating with Zoom, Microsoft Teams and WebEx for those video calls that keep us connected. The only thing it's missing is a touch of AI, but for rock solid reliability, it's earning a well-deserved A tier from me. Fantastical, the Apple exclusive that charms with more features than a Swiss army knife, and a kind of elegance that catches your eye. Sure, it's not flirting with the other operating systems, but within the Apple ecosystem, it's unmatched. And for its dazzling utility and those rich visuals, an A tier for you, Fantastical. Apple users, this is your calendar soulmate. On to Cron, or should I say Notion Calendar? Grabbed up by Notion in 2022, it's carving out a spot for the Notion devotees aiming to bridge your notes and your schedule in one swoop. Still young, still hungry for innovation, but with features that have me doing a double take. If you're riding the Notion wave, jump on this. Cron gets a B tier for now with room to grow. And Calendly, the darling of scheduling that brought efficiency to time zones and boardrooms alike. This unicorn isn't just a tool, it's a movement designed to cut the back and forth and just get you to that yes for a meeting. It may not be the hot new thing on the scene anymore, and the competition is quite stiff, but for five years, it's been a constant in my digital toolkit. For sheer sticking power and user satisfaction, I'm nudging Calendly into the A tier with a nod of gratitude. Diving into the world of words and wisdom, Google Docs is the titan I can't ignore. It's the Michael Jordan of documentation. It's universal, flexible, and doesn't cost you a dime. Wherever you got an internet connection, you've got a personal scribe waiting. For the sheer simplicity and full feature set without touching your wallet, it's shooting straight to S there on my list. Next in line is Notion, a chameleon in the productivity landscape. This isn't just a place to dump your brain, it's where your brain gets an upgrade. Task management, productivity coordination, and now with Notion Calendar, it's ticking boxes you didn't know you had. In fact, here at Magical, we use Notion to plan our content. It's super efficient and perfect for teams as well. Not to mention that Notion has implemented AI into the workflow, and to be honest, I think no other application in this field is doing it better. All of this and more, and you can see why Notion is definitely the top dog. Welcome to the S tier, Notion. Ah, Evernote, my good old friend. Personally, I've had experience using the app from 2013 through 2020. We parted ways, but respect where it's due. If your lies a treasure trove of notes, this one's for digging deep. With its steps into AI like pulling out the right note with just a prompt or tidying up your thoughts into summary, it's still a contender. It's got heart, but innovation could use a jolt. For now, Evernote's holding firm in the B tier. One note in the ring with its no-nonsense approach. It's part of the Office 365 ensemble and it sings a tune of simplicity. It thrives on the basic which is cool if that's your jam. Microsoft's whispering about AI with Copilot, but it's behind a velvet rope, enterprise members only. It's great for students and the styler savvy, but as for my scorecard, it sits at a C. Turning the spotlight on Apple Notes. Yep, that unsuspecting icon on your home screen is a pocket-sized powerhouse. Scanning documents, shooting them to your Mac, or share a simple grocery list in a tap. Now Apple Notes is clearly only for Apple devices, so if you're rocking Android or Windows, you're gonna be experiencing some FOMO. I'm giving it a solid B tier for its smooth moves within the Apple universe. In the fortress of our online security, password managers are the unsung hero. I've been with LastPass for a while. It's rock solid across every device and browser I use, especially within the Chrome ecosystem and my Apple gadgets. It's dependable, user-friendly, and efficient. They've had their scares with data breaches, which is a little unsettling, but it keeps me secure and my bank account hasn't raised any red flags yet so far, so that's good. LastPass gets an A tier for me for reliability and for ease. And then we come to 1Password. It's revered for its robust security features and a haven for your digital credentials. I haven't personally onboarded this one, but its reputation for fortifying users' online presence precedes it. Like any service dealing with sensitive data, it's experienced its fair share of challenges, but its swift responses to security issues are commendable. We've all got to stay sharp and proactive with our digital security, and it looks like this tool is gonna help us to do just that. Asana was my go-to when I was juggling web design and video production. It's comprehensive, especially for client work, but it's not quite as malleable as some of the other newer tools that have popped up. Sure, they've added Asana Intelligence, though the name's a bit on the nose, the functionality is appreciated. 
It's tough call, but in the field of growing contenders, I'm placing Asana at a sturdy B tier. Now let's talk about ClickUp, the behemoth of the task management arena. Its feature set is like a Swiss army knife on steroids, and it offers flexibility that's hard to beat. The learning curve's steep, but once you scale it, the view's amazing. For its sheer capacity to manage and morph into whatever your team needs, ClickUp clinches a spot in the S tier. I had a stint with Monday.com, and while it does the heavy lifting of project management well, it didn't quite hit the mark for me. Some might find the colorful interface and the animation celebrations delightful, but I ran into bugs that soured the experience, not to mention the barrage of notifications. But remember, that's my take. Your results may vary. On the bright side, it certainly stands out and gets things across the finish line, so I'm giving it a B tier. Trello's the minimalist in this race. It takes cards and lists to a zen garden of productivity. Its simplicity is its strength and its weakness. Great for personal checklists or small teams, but it might not scale to the complexity some might crave. It maintains its charm and utility though, so I'm calling it a solid B for steadfast simplicity. Up and comer Akiflow is throwing punches as the personal task manager, syncing with calendars and funneling tasks from various applications. It's like having a personal assistant tucked into your pocket. It's not just a household name yet, and its soloist nature might not play well in orchestras, but with more time in the limelight, it could rise. But for now, it's B tier with potential. Motion tries to reinvent the wheel with its calendar based project handling. It proposes an interesting approach that might work wonders for individual task management, but I'm on the fence about its scalability for larger teams. After a test drive, it's like looking into the kaleidoscope of tasks. Potential for beauty, but also for chaos. Motion earns a watchful B tier. And then there's to do is. If tasks were planners, to do is would be your personal universe. Its clean design and functionality keep you tracking tasks without getting lost in space. While it's not flaunting flashy features, its stellar simplicity shoots it to an A tier for those who want to get things done without the fuss. Starting with Arc Browser, and let me tell you, this isn't just another Chromium spin-off. It's sailing straight to S tier and here's why. It's not just iterating, it's innovating at breakneck speeds with weekly updates. By harnessing the power of ChatGPT directly within your search or hover over interactions, it's transforming the browser paradigm. Its slick horizontal tab management is a game changer. Plus features like auto-hiding inactive tabs make clutter a thing of the past, keeping your workspace pristine and your RAM grateful. Arc Browser isn't just on the edge, it's cutting it, redefining the browsing experience as we know it. Now onto Chrome, the Goliath in the browser battlefield. Its speed and extension friendly nature have kept it at the top of the food chain for years. You already notice if you've got more tabs open than a soda factory. Because Chrome is universal and has a hefty extension roster, Chrome earns an A tier. It's reliable, familiar, and has an extension for just about everything. Over in Apple's ecosystem, Safari thrives. It's energy efficient, privacy conscious, and syncs so smoothly across all your Apple devices. It's just like butter. But if you're not all in with Apple, Safari's charms may be lost for you. For its clean interface and integration within Apple's territory, Safari gets a B tier. Now let's talk Magical. Now full disclosure, Magical is not just another tool on my belt, it's part of my digital DNA. I've personally saved countless hours on tasks that, let's be honest, no one really enjoys. I'm talking about the tedious copy and pasting and crafting of countless emails. The template feature is a godsend. It's on standby to fire off rapid responses with a personal touch across emails and numerous platforms. Objective lens aside, this tool, Magical, has objectively cranked up my productivity to 11. It's like a personal assistant who knows your moves before you make them. It's with tools like this that I can focus on creativity and content and not clerical work. If you're keen on discovering how much more you can do with Magical, and trust me, there is a lot, hit that subscribe button for more insight and user cases. Ready to give it a whirl for yourself? Check out Magical at getmagical.com slash YouTube. And don't worry, I've dropped the link in the description for you. Step into the realm of next-gen productivity and let the magic begin. Home is the silent but powerful type, plugging into your browser experience to streamline how you access content online. Not much of a show pony, but it's the workhorse you need when you're waist deep in the internet research. It's fairly new with less exposure, but definitely one to watch. For now, it sits at B tier for its potential to evolve into a must-have tool. To start with, Slack is pretty much the office water cooler turned digital powerhouse. It's the place where work happens, conversations flow, and ideas blossom, real-time and asynchronous. With its ecosystem of integrations, if your team isn't on Slack, are you even a team? It's not just meeting expectations, it's setting them. And that's why it locked down S tier status as a universal standard for seamless team communication. While we're decoding communication, let's talk Gmail within Google Workspace. 
is the titan of email, part of the grander tapestry of Google Suite. But standing alone, Gmail has become synonymous with email itself. It's where productivity meets connectivity, bundling your communication into one neat, searchable package. With constant innovation and that ubiquitous Google ease of use, it's just a whisker away from S tier. But considering its vast role in the Google ecosystem alone, it's got to be A tier for now. And Superhuman swoops in aiming to be Gmail on steroids. It's sleek, it's fast, and it wants to make you an email ninja with keyboard shortcuts for everything. This is premium emailing, with a price that reminds you of that status every month. For those willing to invest in their inbox experience, Superhuman could be transformative, but that course means it has to hover at B tier for now. Front and center is Google Drive, the colossus of cloud storage. It isn't just a silo for your digital stuff, it's an entire ecosystem where collaboration and creation converge with convenience. Now what sets Google Drive apart isn't just its integration with other Google apps, it's the search prowess and the complimentary 15 gigabytes of storage it kicks off with. Toss in the likes of Google Docs and Sheets and it doesn't take a detective to see why it grabs the S tier without a second glance. Then we come to Dropbox, the veteran that started the cloud storage revolution. It's kept up with the times offering features like file locking and automatic backups with the powerful encryption at the helm. Yet, it's not without its Achilles heel. The mere two gigabytes of free storage feels almost prehistoric in today's world. With a suite of admin and collaboration tool, Dropbox muscles its way into A tier, though it could push the envelope further on value. Strolling in is OneDrive. Hand in hand with Microsoft 365, it brings a suite that's hardwired for Windows lovers and beyond. It's all about syncing ease, file accessibility and security that's as tight as a drum. The free five gigabytes of storage might seem meager, and yes, there are a few syncing snags to iron out like not syncing when with Mac OS devices, but for an ecosystem that plays so well with Office files and for the security savvy OneDrive, two parks comfortably at B tier. Leading the AI pack is ChatGPT, your text-based oracle that's writing the rulebook on interaction. It's a quintessential sidekick for crafting emails, generating content and even coding help. This AI wizard offers insightful context-rich dialogue that pushes it to a resounding S tier. It's GPT, great, powerful, and transformative. Next up is Forest, your personal digital landscaper turning focus into an art form. Gamification, concentration, this app plants trees while you work. The longer you remain focused, the lusher your forest grows. It's a simple concept with a charming execution, earning it a spot in the B tier for nudging us towards greener, more productive pastures. Loom jumps in as the bridge between type words and face-to-face -face conversation. It's an asynchronous video messaging tool that lets your charisma shine through the screen. Personal, direct, and a clear communicator, Loom sits comfortably at an A tier for bringing a dose of humanity back into our digital dialogues. Instantly isn't just an AI tool. It's like having a virtual marketing team at your fingertips. Designed to supercharge your email outreach, it lets you manage unlimited email accounts and handle bulk communication effortlessly, all while ensuring your sender reputation stays pristine. With features like automated warm-ups from a vast pool of real human accounts, email validation, and a unified inbox, your leads, meetings, and deals could skyrocket. The platform's commitment to user-friendliness and robust support scores high marks across the board giving it its comprehensive suite at closing deals faster and outreach optimization. Instantly earns an A tier. Magai waits into the free with a keyboard and AI power toolkit, ready to transform how you generate content. No need for countless app switches. It lets you chat, outline, and design side by side, all while guarding your privacy fiercely. For its innovation and seamless operation, Magai earns itself an A tier. It's like having a digital magician's hat, just without the rabbit. Rounding out this category is Pace, the clipboard manager that turns copy-paste into an experience. It keeps a history of your clipboard like a digital scrapbook, ensuring you never lose copied link, text, or image again. Ideal for those maniac multitasking moments, Pace secures a B tier, cultivating order in the chaos of our daily digital shuffle. Miro is the ultimate digital whiteboard for the visually inclined transforming collaborative sessions into a landscape of creativity and clarity. It's where ideas grow legs and team synergy thrives, all within an interface that's as intuitive as it's expansive. An AI tool in our ranks, Miro turns distant teamwork into a close-knit brainstorm with ease. Whimsical is a visual collaboration application where teams converge their thoughts into diagrams, wireframes, and mind maps. It's about seamless ideation where flowcharts emerge as naturally as conversation, earning it an A tier for its blend of simplicity and depth. Ideal for swift paced world of product development to marketing timelines, Whimsical sharpens the edge of teamwork. That's it for the list. It's quite extensive, but hey, maybe there's something in there that will make your workflow and your life easier. 
Don't forget to check the description for all the links to the tools we've covered. If there's a game changer I missed, let me know in the comments below. Let's keep building that list together. Hit like, subscribe for more insights, and let's keep optimizing our digital workspaces. Until next time,